¿Qué tal mi gente? ¿Cómo están el día de hoy? Aquí andamos en este lugar nuevamente donde quise venir la vez pasada. Acá lo que es el castillo de San Marcos. Pues aquí van a ver a ustedes este, una pequeña demostración que nos van a dar pues acá de lo que era la función de estos cañones que pueden ver acá en estos lugares. Acá. Así es de que ahorita van a ver cómo es que funcionaban estos cañones, mi gente. Así es de que muchas gracias por andar conmigo en estas aventuras y vamos. Ships and soldiers have surrounded this town. Cannon fire has impacted these walls. But this fort has one reoccurring story in common with every group that has ever worked here. These walls have never fallen. Every attack has failed. From the Spanish to the British to the United States to the Confederacy during our Civil War, every transfer was done peacefully. Now, there was combat, but nothing to the effect of surrendering the fort to the enemy. The soldiers who defended this place did their jobs very well. Today we are dressed to represent the Spanish soldiers that once worked here back in the mid 18th century. Myself and a couple others, and we also have volunteers with us to put these cannon crews together in the region today. And the weapon we are about to fire is called a six pounder iron gun. It's a small cannon for the history of this fortress, but this is still a very impressive weapon. Our six-pounder six here was capable of firing a baseball-sized six-pound solid iron ball about as far away as you see that light. A mile and a half away, downrange. 
But as you explore the fortress, you'll find larger cannons, especially down by the flagpole. That is a collection of what are called 16-pounders, 18-pounders, and 24-pounders. Cannons once capable of throwing their shots up to three miles down range. Could they accurately hit a target three miles away? That answer usually is no. But they can still reach out that far. And ladies and gentlemen, as you watch us fire this cannon today, you're going to notice it'll take several minutes to get these shots fired. Because we are not representing naval combat. We're not representing battlefield combat. We're representing a group of soldiers trying to move around a cannon that weighs over 2,000 pounds using the same drills for those larger 7,000, 8,000 pound cannons you see everywhere else. A crew of soldiers to work one of these weapons can be anywhere from five to 10 people to get a weapon fired. But the beauty of a fortress like the Castillo de San Marcos is there's over 40 cannons in this building throughout the height of its history. While any one cannon was being fired, others are being loaded or prepared or cleaned. So there's always something going on. And that led to how this building was able to survive so well throughout its history. And ladies and gentlemen, this firing will be very loud. We will call for you to cover your ears when it is time to do so. If you have small children, you please make sure they cover their ears or cover their ears for them when the time comes. Also, ladies and gentlemen, right in front of me in this front area here, based off the way the wind is blowing, when the gun goes off, there'll be a big white cloud of smoke. It might head right for you. Just take a big deep breath, find out what this pretty smells like. <laughs> and once again, ladies and gentlemen, we would not be able to do this without the help of our volunteers. Remember our volunteers are standing in the canyon for today, so please give our volunteers a hand. <laughs> Quando se aparecer bateria, o canhão. Canhão de bateria. Se levar para o mar. 